Thank you. Very honest, Sir Mandy Robertson. One of three changes from Jurgen Klopp in at half time. The first time the Liverpool manager has ever made a triple substitution at half time in the Premier League since he took over. Didn't mince his words there, Andy Robertson. No, he's always honest with his appraisal. Um, and it's refreshing to hear, actually. Um, I mean, I started the show saying that I fancy Liverpool to get into the top four. Uh, after today, it's a little bit of a worry. But I still think that one of the four best uh, teams in the But the consistency is the word he the used consistency. There. And the worst thing is, well, after 16 games for Liverpool now, they're now out the title race. They can't win the league, really, can they? And that's, uh, that's something that you think Liverpool, after the recent years that they've had, they've, they've always taken it to the wire. They've won it. They've, you know, they've always been up there challenging. And after 16 games... They're basically, we're all talking, can they get into the top four? Can they not? It's a real big worry for them. And, uh, you know, that, of course, they're in other competitions, but the Premier League is, is what you've judged on. It's what they want to win more than anything else. And they're out of that title race already, in my opinion. The foundation of Liverpool was built on that defence. You know, Alisson and Van Dijk coming in. That, that front three was there. They were brilliant. But the, the difference was Alisson and Van Dijk coming in now. Liverpool conceded more goals than Everton. Mm. Same amount of goals as West Ham in 16th and 17th. That tells you all you need to know. At the top of the pitch, OK, they've got a few injuries. They're still going to score goals. But if you're conceding, they could have conceded five today, conceded three. So the issue is defensively. They look so vulnerable. And I think Jurgen Klopp will be worried. They get no pressure on the ball in midfield. They're, they're very vulnerable when the ball comes into the box. That was an eye-opener, I think. I, I went with Michael. I thought they would be a top-four team. But today... You're worried. They're missing their best player, even Tony, and they still conceded three. So they need to tidy up defensively. I don't know how they do it if they play a bit deeper or be more aggressive, but that's not the Liverpool that won the Champions League in the Premier League. Right? And I mean, it's a fascinating setup, actually, yeah. Bill. We'll just forward it into that position there. At the back post there, in a tiny little area of the pitch, we've got eight players, eight Brentford players, all in this area here. It's it's a strange one because then when we just forward it to when the corner kick is is taken. Not one player is in that same zone. And when we stop it, just in the moment... There we go. So, ball's about to come in and there's nobody in that same position. They've all gone into, into the areas that they need to be in. Because they're trying... Mo, they're trying to work this space. It's funny, actually, because they all start at the back post, basically saying, we're not going to go to the near post. But obviously, that's where they're working to, isn't yeah. it? To get the ball into this area. And if we just run it on a tiny bit more... They're trying to get it to there because they know they, know how they have the bodies in their mo, and they've, they've got the overload, which, in the end, causes a bit of chaos for Kanata because he actually can't see the ball. It does. And it's... Obviously, it's a zonal uh, space that, that Liverpool are playing here, but I worry about this as well. The ball could easily have come out into that area and there's only one man in that area and they were going to get a free shot as well, so I'm not quite sure of the setup. Yes, there was a bit of luck with the goal. It came off Kanata. He wouldn't have seen that. He would have just felt it. Um, and it's very unlucky because the only part of the goal it does go in is right into the, into the, little, the bottom corner there. No players on the post for Liverpool either. That's a question mark. Yeah, and we should be mentioning a name, Bernardo Cueva. Who is he, you ask? He is Brentford's set-piece coach. Well, it was an overload, wasn't there, on the, on the back post area? Uh, and I don't know, I do feel that there was a few mistakes uh, within the goal. Normally, you have two, three mistakes within a team to concede a goal. I certainly could see two obvious ones, uh, ones with this goal here. Looking at the ball, I've got my man, I know he's there, so I'm thinking, he's there. Once you look across, you, I, I know what you're saying, you're, you're right, but he's thinking, I'm getting a lot of criticism defensively, I'm going to stick with my guy. I can see him rather than, you're right, th this, th this is the problem, isn't it? The one there. Absolutely. You've got to defend the danger man in your box. And sometimes people will get caught out of position. You've got to go and fill in. You, you, you can't leave a man just empty and, and unmarked in the middle of the box. Very interesting thoughts.